Gwen Stefani cuts the chic figure while attending church with her sons in Los Angeles. She spent the holidays with her children and country singer boyfriend Blake Shelton. And on Sunday, Gwen Stefani stepped out cutting the chic figure while attending church in Los Angeles. The 48-year-old singer was spotted heading into church services with her three sons, Kingston, 11, Zuma, 9, and Apollo, 3. Gwen donned a beautiful black and white polka dot dress which she teamed with five high stiletto heel boots. The platinum blonde song stress accessorized her look with a silver necklace, multiple rings, and an oversized black channel handbag. Gwen kept her traces in a top knot bun paired with her classic red pot, while hiding her face behind designer sunglasses. Covering last year's holiday issue of Marie Claire, Gwen dished inside the magazine that spiritual exercise got me somewhere. Some people like to meditate, do yoga, or just take quiet time, but for me, instead of how you talk to yourself, you pray, she explained. Said Gwen, you surrender and ask for guidance. It's not all about you. She dated her one-time No Doubt bandmate Tony Cannell for seven years, and had a 20-year relationship with Gavin, whom she was legally married to for 14 years before filing for divorce in August 2015. By that November, Gwen and Blake Shelton had officially confirmed they were an item, after a swirl of rumors to this effect. She and Blake, named people's sexiest man alive this year, are an item to this day. Gwen had confessed in Marie Claire, for a long time, I could not understand why I'd had so much heartache in my life. I have parents who are still married and in love. I had such loving role models. I don't understand it. The pop star confided that ultimately, what I learned was that my heartbreak was supposed to happen, that it was my purpose to write about and share my story. She said, I met at least 50 to 100 people before each show on my tour and got to hear that my truth and my story translated, and I feel very lucky and honored knowing that.